into a slightly different style of vlog. Um, during the Easter holidays, we took a day trip up to Glam's Castle and I brought you along with me. However, I didn't bring my microphone, so I'm adding the audio in afterwards, but I thought it would be nice to share um, some of the history and bits and pieces about Glam's Castle. Um, so here we go. Um, Glam's Castle was the childhood home of um, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, um, and she was part of the Lion family. Um, so you will see a lot of lions throughout. The boys in the room are currently hunting out all the different lions. Um, the castle is still used, I believe, um, but obviously visitors are allowed in. Um, it was fascinating. There were so many wonderful things in there. Um, the kids were particularly taken by um, the spinning wheel that you're about to see in a second. Arthur recognised that it was similar to my um, little e-spinner, um, which was quite good fun. As I said, the castle is the childhood home of um, the Queen Mother and um, it was quite interesting visiting a castle where you kind of had knowledge of some of the people that had lived there and some of the people that had visited there. Um, the Queen Mother was actually born here and she spent most of her childhood here um, and in fact during World War II the castle was, sorry, during World War I actually, the castle was taken over by, as a hospital and um, she played quite a big part writing letters for the soldiers and um, things like that during World War I. We have again a picture of the Queen Mother and the piano that she used to play as a young woman. Um, I found it really interesting as well that, um, so she was born in the 19, 1900 and um, the, the queen, the current queen, Queen Elizabeth, our current queen in the UK, uh, spent a lot of her childhood, her and Princess Margaret both spent a lot of their childhood at Glam's Castle. So coming up in a moment, we head into um, the the bedroom that once belonged, I believe, to um, the Queen Mother's mother. Um, this was her bed. And there were a couple of things in here that I just found fascinating. She embroidered the names of all 10 of her children into the top of the bed here. Um, and I just thought that was amazing. Um, Elizabeth the Queen Mother was the ninth of ten children um, and you can see all their names embroidered at the top here. Um, apologies for my dreadful camera work, I didn't take my tripod or anything so it's very much a shoddy job. Um, there she is, born 19, 1900, um, Elizabeth the Queen Mother and this cot here, which you'll see very briefly, um, was actually used by both the Queen Mother and Princess Margaret and the Queen herself was slept in that cot when she visited Glam's as a baby. And then we went and explored the grounds which were absolutely beautiful and I think I'll just put a bit of pretty music on while you get to explore the grounds and enjoy watching my children run riot around um, the grass maze very shortly. <laughs>
So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed a little snapshot of Glam's Castle. I would definitely recommend it. It's one of the f one of my favourite castles that I've been to visit. I think just having that little bit of kind of recognition to the people that had lived there really, really kind of helped um, with engaging with it all, I think. Um, the kids really, really enjoyed it as well. Um, and yeah, it was a fascinating place. Um, and the inspiration actually behind um, Macbeth for Shakespeare as well. And just really stunning grounds and scenery. Thank you very much for watching. And I do hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit different, um, but I enjoyed putting it together. <laughs>